One of the most high yield US every topics that students lose points is the difference between cauda equina versus conus medullaris syndrome on the US MLE. Most resources make this very complicated. Let's make it easy by discussing what is similar first in both of these and then the two big differences you can use to solve any question on the US MLE. First, what's the same? They're both surgical emergencies. They both can give you bowel and bladder dysfunction like urinary retention. But US MLE wants you to know how to tell them apart. Here are the two key differences. Number one, the anesthesia pattern and onset. The conus medullaris is the actual end of the spinal cord around L1 to L2. The conus medullaris syndrome therefore is a central cord problem. So how does it present? Suddenly. It's abrupt, it's acute and the numbness is symmetric and perianal. The coila equina is on the other hand the bundle of nerve roots around the cord. It's not the cord itself. These are peripheral nerves. So how does it present? Gradually. It's often asymmetric and the numbness is the classic saddle anesthesia where you'd sit on a horse. So that's inner thighs, genitals, butt. Apart from this, the highest yield difference that you will see is number two and this is in the reflexes. So let's ask ourselves the question where is the conus? It is the spinal cord. So what kind of motor signs are you going to get? You are going to get both upper and lower motor neuron signs because this is the total spinal cord. You'll get mixed hyperreflexia and hyporeflexia therefore. Now what about cauda equina syndrome? It's just peripheral nerves roots. So what kind of signs can you get here? Only lower motor neuron signs. That's key. So you're going to see hyperreflexia or a reflexia in your NBMEs and on the USMLE. You'll also see absent knee and ankle jerk reflexes.